Yeah, great job, Samuel and Jay. This is a lagging power factor. Again, notice the current angle is lagging the voltage angle. The current is behind the voltage angle. It's trying to follow. It's behind it. It's trying to catch up. Never quite reaches it. They're moving at the same speed, right? Same frequency. So if I have a lagging power factor, what kind of load do I have? Is this a resistor? Is this an inductor? Is this a capacitor? What kind of load? What's the only kind of load that will result in a lagging power factor? This is going to be an inductive load. You got a J and Ben. This is an inductive load. All right, beneath this phasor diagram, we have a power triangle. We've got the real power is the horizontal or the real component, the reactive power Q, that's the vertical or imaginary component, apparent power S by itself, just the magnitude, that's the hypotenuse of this triangle. And then here's theta. Theta, of course, is the angle of our complex power, this angle or this polar number right here. All right, is this a leading or lagging power triangle? If you're not sure, we can use process of elimination. We know that the phasor diagram on top is lagging because the current lags the voltage. We know this is the power triangle for this phasor diagram. So if this phasor diagram is lagging, then this power triangle also has to be what? This is a lagging power factor power triangle.